Absolute value is a funny concept in math that a lot of people have a hard time getting used to. But the important thing to keep in mind when you're working with absolute value is to remember that absolute value just means distance away from zero. I'm going to say that lots of time. So like for example, if I were looking at a problem that looked like this where it said the absolute value of x equals 2, that would mean x is a distance of 2 away from 0. Like if I were to draw a little picture of the number line, starting from 0 I could go 2 either in this direction and I would have the answer x could be 2, or I could go 2 in this direction and have the answer x equals negative 2. That's the important thing to keep in mind. It's just like distance away from zero. It's actually really useful in the real world. You know how sometimes people say, when am I going to use this? Um, you actually will probably use this, and here's why. Let's say you're like hanging out on 10th Avenue, and your friend's like, dude, I'm five blocks away. You could say like, yeah, are you on 5th Avenue? Like if I'm on 10th and you're five blocks away, are you on 5th Avenue or are you on 15th? It's like it's, it's, it doesn't have a direction really. You could be either that way or that way. That's the way absolute value works and it's pretty useful. Also a lot of times absolute value is used in manufacturing. Like if I already look at this bag of chips, it tells me that the weight is 28.3 grams. But to be honest, if I were to weigh this, I doubt it's exactly 28.3. Like maybe I got an extra chip. So mine is 28.9 grams or something like that. Like there's an absolute value that's around this 28.3 grams. It might be actually higher than 28.3 or it might even be lower. I might have gotten like a chip stolen out of my bag or something. But the important thing when they're producing chips is they say, okay, all of our bags need to be within a distance of maybe like 0.5 grams from 28.3. It's how they set up, like some are gonna be more, some are gonna be less. So when you're looking at absolute value problems, keep in mind you're probably going to have more than one answer. Most of the time you'll have two answers, sometimes you'll have one answer, and sometimes you'll even have no answer. And that's a situation where you have an absolute value is equal to a negative number. And you'll start seeing those when you get into your homework problems.